It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A very pleasant good evening to you all. And thanks for spending and tuned in to the latest edition of New Jersey High School Softball here on WBCB Sports Network. A quick shout out to all of our sponsors for covering today's game for us here at Robbinsville High School as the Ravens take on the St. Thomas Aquinas Trojans. Bit of a delayed start for us tonight. Originally scheduled for 4 o'clock and then pushed back to 4.30. And now with a start just after 5 o'clock in a windy and wet Thursday afternoon in Mercer County. We weren't sure if we were going to get this game in as we were setting up our stream, but able to do so. And I have the solo call for you today. As this one shot to left center field, tracking back to make the catch and a good one at that. For the first out of the game for the Robbinsville Ravens. That's number 15, Ariana Tomlinson in center field. Our first batter retired. For the Ravens starter on the mound, the senior Katie Ziliani. Ziliani starting last time. These two teams played each other last April. 3-1 St. Thomas Aquinas win. Two of the better softball programs in the state of New Jersey. NJ.com just updating their softball rankings today. St. Thomas Aquinas moving up a spot, 8-7. to seven. Is this one a blooper to center field coming on quickly and making the diving catch is Ariana Tomlinson. What a great read from the Ravens center fielder. An awesome jump for her in center field. She keeps Trojan batter off the base paths. And there's two away for Ziliani. A 108 ERA coming into this contest in 13 innings. She's now pitched in all four games for the Ravens this year. Robbinsville 2 and 1 this season. 3 and 1 record for St. Thomas Aquinas. As I mentioned, the number 7 ranked team in the state by nj.com. As Elizabeth Negron steps in the batter's box with two away for St. Thomas Aquinas. The weather will certainly be a factor in this game, however long we play this game. Non-conference matchup, so really trying to get this one in with St. Thomas Aquinas coming. They travel to Steinert High School on Monday. Where they suffered their first and so far only loss of the season. That pitch misses low from Ziliani. We see Colazzo, the head coach for the Trojans. 23 wins last season. 21 wins for Robbinsville. Their first season in Group 3. And Ziliani already having trouble with the elements as the wind really starting to pick up here. And that pitch misses low for ball four and Negron will reach base, first base runner of the day for the Trojans. And one on with two away. See if Giuliani, see how she responds to her first walk given up. And that one gets by the catcher and it slips out of the hand of Giuliani to second base goes Negron. Going to be tough for the pitchers to 
keep their grips today. As Haley Kranski is in the box, that pitch misses again low. Kranski a hit in the first three games for St. Thomas Aquinas. 0 for 5 in Tuesday's win against South Brunswick. Trojans picking up a win after that loss to Steinert on Monday. They played on back-to-back -back days Monday, Tuesday. Ravens played yesterday, suffering their first loss of the season, an upset loss to West Windsor Plainsboro North. 6-4 to four the final in that game after a doubleheader on Sunday for Robbinsville in the Suicide Prevention Tournament. A pair of wins for the Ravens in that event. And that one ripped an early swing from Kranski to goes foul down the third base line. St. Thomas Aquinas trying to score first here against Robbinsville on the road after a road loss to Steinert on Monday. So that pitch misses low from Ziliani and the second consecutive walk issued by the Ravens pitcher. Two on, two away. Ziliani did pitch against the Trojans last year when these two teams faced off. Three to one win for the Trojans. Ziliani, tossed all six innings for the Ravens in that game, allowed three runs on six hits, eight strikeouts and three walks. Big swing and a miss from Adriana Torres, the sophomore. Torres making her season debut for the Trojans in this game. Batting in the five hole and big spot for her here. With two on and two away in the first inning. Chopper to the right side of the infield, a backhanded play by the first baseman and she'll take it to the bag herself for the out and the Ravens get out of the first inning jam at St. Thomas Aquinas Strands two, we go to the bottom of the first. Robbinsville coming up. Capital Health Primary Care Network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health Primary Care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health Primary Care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. Hi, I'm Errol Reese. Most people diagnosed with skin cancer are not even aware of their cancer. It's important to get a complete skin checkup. Kessel Dermatology offers a vast array of surgical procedures, including Mohs surgery, plus other non-surgical options. Take care of your skin. Schedule an appointment with Kessel Dermatology. Hi. 1490 WBCB Levitan and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that hold Bottom of the first inning about to get underway at Robbinsville High School. Ravens hosting the St. Thomas Aquinas 
Trojans today. Rain has stopped for now. Wind really, still really kicking up with the overcast weather. And the first pitch from Elizabeth Negron, the starter for the Trojans, is fouled away by Haley Krebs, the leadoff hitter for Robbinsville. Senior shortstop for the Ravens in her final season. Already committed to Campbell University, Division I, one of three Division I commits on this Robbinsville team. That's Elizabeth Negron, who's already said her name as she came up to bat in the top half of the inning and walked with two away. Didn't come around to score. Negron pitching on back-to-back -back days as she tossed six innings yesterday against South – or excuse me, on Tuesday, not back-to-back -back days, against South Brunswick. Allowed three runs on seven hits in that game. Walked five but struck out nine. As Krebs takes that one high. And Negron came in relief against Steiner on Monday, tossed a scoreless sixth inning. This one a chopper to the left side of the infield. And a throw on a hop, it eats up the first baseman and Krebs is able to leg it out. So a leadoff base runner for Robbinsville as Natalie Candle, the shortstop for St. Thomas Aquinas, unable to handle that. Now Caroline Walls steps to the plate. Walls 0 for 4 yesterday against West Windsor, Plainsboro North. This one bunt down the first baseline. Nice play by the first baseman. And coming up limping is a St. Thomas Aquinas player. I believe that's Brielle Kubala. Actually, she was the one covering the bag. It was Cameron Collado, the second baseman, who charged in to collect that bunt from Caroline Walls. Sacrifice bunt for Walls, so Krebs advanced to second base. And in steps Ariana Tomlinson. We've already said her name a couple times today. Made a pair of catches in center field on the top of the first. One of them kind of a semi layout for us. Looked like she kind of made the catch as she was falling over. Not quite a traditional dive, but a great play nonetheless. She gets a piece of that one and fouls it away. Tomlinson, the junior, three for five through three games so far this season. 485 batting average last year. This one to the left side of the infield. To go to third with it is Krebs almost got caught at third, but then the ball gets away. She slides in safely, and then they overthrow as Tomlinson goes to second base. Tomlinson hesitates and takes off for third. And she's in there standing. So St. Thomas Aquinas throwing it all over the place here. And the first run of the game belongs to the Robbinsville Ravens. They just put the ball in play. Good things happen, especially in a day like today with the elements not quite on the player's side. And now on a ground ball, that candle just... Decided to go to third base with it instead. Tough play, and it was unable to be handled by the third baseman, Colucci. And a great read by Haley Rebs to, or Haley Krebs, excuse me, to read that and take off her home to score the first run of the game. And then Tomlinson gets all the way to third base on a ground ball to short. So the Ravens in business scoring the first run of the game.
There's one away with Tomlinson on third and first pitch swinging. Is Sorella Gallucci, the cleanup hitter for Robbinsville. Gallucci 0 for 4 yesterday against West Windsor, West Windsor Plainsboro North. So that was the first lost loss to the Cougars for the Ravens since at least 2010. That's how far back the NJ.com database goes. So it's been at least 14 years since West Windsor Plainsboro North defeated Robbinsville before yesterday's win. And that loss knocked Robbinsville out of the NJ.com top 20 rankings. They came in as preseason number 16. Is this one again to Candle? Eats her up for a moment, but she's able to stick with it and fire it to first in time. Tomlinson comes in to score. Another run for Robbinsville, and it's now 2-0 Ravens. A couple of hard-hit balls in the infield. Three balls this inning going to Candle at shortstop. First pitch swing foul ball off the bat of Reagan Robinson. Robinson just one hit so far this season. Did reach base three times via walk in the opener for Robbinsville on Sunday against Metuchen. Doubleheader pair of wins for Robbinsville to start their 2024 season on Sunday. Big swing and a miss as Negron puts that one past Robinson. Robinson, the senior, 0 for 3 against St. Thomas Aquinas last year. And that one look out as it almost catches the third base coach down the line. Elizabeth Negron trying to bear down and get out of this inning. She's already allowed two as that pitch gets away from her, misses high. So do it again. That one ripped down the third baseline, but just foul. Good call by the home plate umpire as he was right on it. Robinson starting to straighten some things out here. Hitless yesterday was Robinson, but did, she did score one of the four runs that Robbinsville put on the board yesterday. That pitch misses low as Robinson has to get out of the way a bit. on a towering pop-up down the right, or excuse me, left field line, giving it a chase, but it'll go out of play. Again, a real battle brewing here as Robinson gets a piece of that one and stays alive. Not making things easy for Elizabeth Negron on the mound. As Robinsville's already scored two runs in this inning. And a check swing again, foul ball off the bat of Robinson. Regan Robinson, a career 330 hitter coming into this contest. Taking her talents to 
or sinus next fall. And this one will be in play, a pop-up to left field and coming in to make the catch for the out to retire the side for the Ravens. But Robbinsville scores two in the inning, take the first lead of the day. It's 2-0 Robbinsville through one. The Italian People's Bakery is proud to support high school sports on the WBCB Sports Network. Visit them at their signature location at 63 Butler Street for the finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. Drive by to smell that homemade bread, made daily, or have them cater your next party or fair. The Italian People's Bakery, located on 63 Butler Street, is the place to go for the best hoagies on Sunday afternoon and the finest dessert trays for your special get-together. Visit them once again at 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg. The Italian People's Bakery since 1936. Don't forget, if you missed any today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's the Trentonian or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Trentonian. Thunder Baseball returns for the 2024 season on Tuesday, June 4th. Catch all the fun and excitement of a Thunder game throughout the summer. For ticket information, visit TrentonThunder.com. That's TrentonThunder.com. Or call 609-394-3300. That's 609-394-3300. Postgame firework nights, Tuesday dollar dog nights, and pork roll Fridays throughout the season. Trenton Thunder baseball, big league futures, major league fun. Top of the second inning, two to nothing, Robbinsville lead over St. Thomas Aquinas. And really not scoring the traditional way. Was Robbinsville in that inning as that first pitch is in there for a strike. Sophia Colucci, the third baseman for the Trojans, will lead things off in the second inning. St. Thomas Aquinas, after a pair of 1-0 wins to start the season, they had a 2-1 loss to Steiner. And is that one a call? No, no, excuse me, called strike two. And then after that 2-1 loss to Steiner, had a 10-6 win against South Brunswick on Tuesday, so Allowed no runs across their first two games. There's a swing and a miss from Colucci there and strikeout number one of the day belongs to the Robbinsville starter. Katie Ziliani won away in the second. First pitch swinging a slow roller to third base. And it's also over to first. A nice play by the third baseman, Gallucci. So we have Sorella Gallucci at third base for Robbinsville and Sophia Colucci at third base for St. Thomas Aquinas. So we might have to put a tracker how many times I mess up those two names as that pitch misses high. The rain starts to kick up again. And now it really starts to come down, maybe the hardest so far today. One away in the top of the second. That pitch misses low. And it looks like they're going to take him off the field, so we will hit a rain delay here in the top of the second inning between Robbinsville and St. Thomas Aquinas. The Ravens leading the Trojans 2 to nothing, one away in the top of the second. Hi, 
This is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Onerfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youths. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 
from Satisfy Patients. Take care of your skin. Schedule an appointment with Kessel Dermatology. Hi, I'm Merrill Riggs. Kessel Dermatology offers top of the line medical grade skincare products manufactured in the USA. They're tested and developed. Resuming action here at Robbinsville High School after that quick delay. And I have a feeling that won't be our last one today. Top of the second inning, two to nothing, Robbinsville lead. One away. This one a slow roller down the third base line. Rolls foul. Start time of this game pushed back twice over the last 24 hours to try to accommodate the inclement weather. Robbinsville baseball team getting underway at 4 o'clock. Their game still going on next to us. That one driven to the right side of the infield and a good play to end things in the top of the second for Robbinsville. No runs, no hits for St. Thomas Aquinas to the bottom of the second inning. It's 2 to nothing, Robbinsville. Developed by a team of board-certified dermatology experts and they come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Take care of your skin. Schedule an appointment with Kessel Dermatology. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Hi, I'm Merrill Riggs. Kessel Bottom of the second inning, two to nothing lead for Robbinsville over St. Thomas Aquinas. Elizabeth Negron back out on the mound for her second inning of work for St. Thomas Aquinas. Negron getting the start yesterday, or excuse me, Tuesday for St. Thomas Aquinas, throwing six innings in that one. A win against South Brunswick. Negron, the junior, has a hit in all four games so far this season coming into this contest. Tasked with doing it both today in the lineup and pitching for the Trojans. This one shot through the left side into left field for a base hit and a leadoff base runner for Robbinsville. So that was Jordan Grotsky getting the base hit there and then she'll get swapped with, or excuse me, that was Talene Ali, the catcher. That is now our battery mate. Katie Zilliani steps into the box, trying to help her own cause. And that pitch hits her, so it only takes one pitch at the plate for Zuliani to reach base. And Robbinsville again in business in the second inning, trying to add to their two-run lead. And now Jordan Gronsky will 
step to the plate. Wearing the number 24, the sophomore. 0 for 3 against St. Thomas Aquinas last year. Three hundred batting average overall last season in forty at bats. Groski gives that one a ride off the glove of the first baseman, and they're going to get the runner at second base as the runners will stick on the corners. Getting confused at first base as she came in to pinch run is Katie Murphy. And that ball rocketed to the first baseman. Brielle Kubala goes in and out of her glove quickly. Runner advances to third and now taking second base is Grotsky who rocketed that line drive. So one away, runners on second and third. Lucy Canuso at the plate for Robbinsville. Pair of hits and a run scored yesterday against West Windsor Plainsboro North. A first career multi-hit game for the freshman and then she'll take her base there on a walk. So the base is loaded for Robbinsville, one away. And a prime spot here for the leadoff hitter Haley Krebs, big chance for Robbinsville to break things open early in this game. Krebs, first pitch, fouls Allen back. Haley Krebs, a hit and an RBI in all three games coming into this contest. Group three, third team member last year, pair of Ravens being named to the second team. Krebs pokes that one foul as it goes out of play behind the third base dugout. Krebs two for six in her career against St. Thomas Aquinas coming into this game and a pair of games. Third overall meeting between these two schools in softball. They split the first two meetings. Robbinsville a 15 to four win in 2022 before a low scoring three to one win for St. Thomas Aquinas last April. Krebs to shortstop Candle. She goes home with it to get the lead runner. A nice play by her to keep the score at two to nothing and also grab the second out of the inning. Or first out of the inning, excuse me, as the base is still loaded. And now this one, the second, they'll go home with it again to make the play. And I was right <laughs> initially. It was the second out of the inning and that the third to end things for Robbinsville. St. Thomas Aquinas and Elizabeth Negron gets out of the jam. Base is loaded one away. And they're able to come out of it unscathed. The 2 to nothing Robbinsville lead through two. Hi, I'm Merrill Riggs. Kessel Dermatology is the place for all general dermatology needs, for acne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, hives, warts, and other growth. They have a friendly and courteous staff, and they can usually offer appointments within 24 hours for emergencies. Take care of your skin. Schedule an appointment with Kessel Dermatology. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. 
I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. 1490 WBC. Top of the third inning between Robbinsville and St. Thomas Aquinas. Thanks for tuning in to the WBCB Sports Network. This first pitch misses low. Katie Ziliani back out on the mound for Robbinsville. Just want to chop her to the third base side and a nice play and stretch all around as it was Sorella Gallucci, the shortstop, or excuse me, the third baseman making the play before Reagan Robinson at first had to stretch out to make the catch at first. And the first batter retired for Robbinsville. Ravens coached by Christine Levering, mentioned earlier in the broadcast, started out the season ranked as the 16th team in the state of New Jersey by NJ.com. But a loss yesterday right before the first rankings update came out today. A loss yesterday for Robbinsville. Bumped them out of the top 20. A loss on Monday didn't hurt St. Thomas Aquinas as they moved up a spot to 7th place after starting out as the preseason number 8. And a swing and a miss. Three strikes it takes for Ziliani. To record that out, and there's two away now. We mentioned Steiner, who defeated St. Thomas Aquinas on Monday. That win helping the Spartans a lot as that one sneaks through up the middle for a base hit. And a two out base runner for St. Thomas Aquinas as Gwendolyn Negron pokes that one up the middle for a hit. And the Spartans. Preseason number 12, they moved up all the way to number three in the state. Thanks in large part to that win against St. Thomas Aquinas. That shows you how well respected Missy Colazzo's team is for an opponent who beat them in a one run game. Moving up nine spots in the rankings this early in the season. Still plenty of softball left to be played though, obviously. And now the opposing pitcher, Elizabeth Negron, steps into the box. Negron, a 434 average last season. On the mound last year, 187 ERA across 30 innings for Negron. She fishes at that pitch low. And Ziliani a strike away from getting out of this third. Pitch misses low. A nice block by Ali behind the plate. Negron, a pair of hits against Robbinsville last season. And that pitch misses low, and a great take by Negron for ball four. And there's two aboard with two away as St. Thomas Aquinas looking for a two out rally here, and now. Haley Kranski will step to the plate, the cleanup hitter. Kranski pops that one up down the left field line, giving it a chase, but it'll go out of play, whereas the trio of Ravens fielders.
Kranisky, three for 14 on the season coming into this game. This one off the hands. Look out. Is that one a shot off the dugout wall of Robbinsville over on the first base side? Looked like it missed everybody, thankfully. Again, Kranisky again some big hacks at the plate, and this time she's well ahead of that one. Fouled away. Giuliani pumps the ball into her glove and now sets and deals. That pitch misses away. Not a bad spot. And the Robbinsville dugout certainly wanted it. And that one a little further outside. Misses again. Giuliani really having to work to finish off this third inning. Two aboard for St. Thomas Aquinas as they trail it two to nothing. And that one catches the zone. Strike three called. Kranski not happy about it. But a great battle back pitch from Katie Ziliani. And she gets out of that two-out jam for Robbinsville. St. Thomas Aquinas leaves two to the bottom of the third. It's two to nothing, Robbinsville. Car buying made simple at Hyundai of Trenton, 1655 North Olden Avenue, Ewing Township. Over 100 new Hyundai models from Elantras and Sonatas to SUVs like the Hyundai Santa Fe, Tucson, and Palisade, including hybrid models. Hyundai of Trenton has the inventory, including a huge selection of pre-owned certified vehicles. No market adjustments on any car in stock. Get an extra $1,000 rebate trade-in value towards any vehicle. Hyundai of Trenton will buy your vehicle even if you don't purchase a car. Fast payment, top dollar paid for your car. Hyundai of Trenton, car buying made simple, and the area's fastest growing dealership at 1655 North Olden Avenue, Ewing Township. Ariana Tomlinson will lead things off for Robbinsville. They lead it two to nothing, bottom of the third inning. First pitch, a foul ball off the bat of Tomlinson. Elizabeth Negron, the pitcher for St. Thomas Aquinas, coming off her score the second inning as Tomlinson fouls Allen back again. Ariana Tomlinson reached base on a fielder's choice in her first plate appearance. An incredible staff for Tomlinson coming into this game. She reached base safely in 29 of 33 career games. And she'll swing through that one for strike three. And Negron starts things off in the bottom of the third with a strikeout. Both these teams busy schedules to start the year. 
Robbinsville. This is the second of four consecutive days with a game scheduled for the Ravens. So they'll stay here at home to face Hopewell Valley tomorrow before traveling to Hunterdon Central on Saturday. So now when a pop-up will go out of play. Off the bat of Sorella Gallucci. So two more games this week for Robbinsville. Same thing for St. Thomas Aquinas as they'll play Monroe tomorrow before hosting Wachung Hills on Saturday. A pair of home games for the Trojans. And those will actually be the first two home games of the season for St. Thomas Aquinas. A nice little homecoming on the weekend for the Trojans. Gallucci at the plate, one hit, and this her third career game against St. Thomas Aquinas. Gallucci hitless yesterday against West Windsor Plainsboro North, but she had three hits against Pope John in game two of Sunday's doubleheader. A pair of triples and four RBIs in that game. She gives this one a ride to center field, but Coming on to make the catch is the Trojan center fielder, Alyssa Collins, for the out. And there's two away now as the first baseman, Regan Robinson, comes to the plate. Robinson, a pop up right back to the pitcher. Negron comes a couple steps in front of the mound to make the catch and retire the side. So another quiet inning for Robbinsville after they scored two in the first, back-to-back -back scoreless innings as Elizabeth Negron starts to settle down. Through three, it's a 2 to nothing Robbinsville lead. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365. At 609-882-6365, come home to traditional Italian cuisine, the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton, and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Top of the fourth inning from Robbinsville High School. Here on the WBCB Sports Network, I'm Andrew Myers. Thanks for tuning in to this softball matchup between the Robbinsville Ravens and St. Thomas Aquinas Trojans. First pitch is a pop-up to the right side of the infield, and securing it is the first baseman, Reagan Robinson. One pitch, one out on the top of the fourth for Katie Ziliani, still on the mound for the Ravens. She's pitched now in all four games this season for Robbinsville. Tossed two scoreless innings yesterday against West Windsor Plainsboro North. Sophia Colucci, the third baseman, first pitch swinging. She fouls that one back. Ciliani, group three, second team member last year, along with Haley Krebs. or excuse me, Haley Krebs was third team last year. Second team was Ariana Tomlinson with Ziliani. Ziliani, the senior, a 2-1-5 ERA. 
for her career coming into this game, and that's only gone down through her three scoreless innings to this point. So that pitch in there for a strike. It's the clock strikes six o'clock here in Robbinsville. And a swing and a miss, she gets Colucci to chase that one in the dirt. First strike three and Ziliani starting to get a feel in the circle now. She looks to finish off a one, two, three inning in the top of the fourth. In her way though is Brielle Kubla. And Kubla pop up, goes out of play behind the first base dugout. Kubla grabbed her first hit of the season on Tuesday against South Brunswick. She scored the lone run of the game for the Trojans against Steiner on Monday. And she's way ahead of that pitch. And now finds herself down 0-2. It's Katie Ziliani looking for a 1-2-3 inning in the fourth. And she'll get just that as she gets a swing and a miss there from Brielle Kubla. And a great job by Katie Ziliani in the top of the fourth. And she sets down the Trojans down one, two, three. Halfway through this one, two to nothing, Robbinsville leads. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youths. And parents, Stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, Advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. Bottom of the fourth inning, two to nothing, Robbinsville lead over St. Thomas Aquinas. It was the rain that affected the early portions of this game and pushed our start time back a couple of times. Now it looks like the wind might play a bit of a factor here. Elizabeth Negron fires that first pitch. It's foul ball. Off the bat of Talene Ali, the catcher for Robbinsville. And that one popped up down the first baseline, about halfway down the line. And drops for a foul ball. Ali, five hits across the first three games of the season for Robbinsville. Three of those hits, extra base hits, a double, a triple, and a home run. She's been busy so far and one of the key early contributors for the Ravens, and she'll poke that one over the third baseman's glove into left for a base hit. So Ali keeping things going with her hot start to the season. I want a foul ball as it hits the knob of the bat, I believe, of the pitcher, Katie Ziliani. Ziliani trying to check her swing and makes contact with that one. It's 0 1, misses inside. Robbinsville scoring both of their runs in the bottom of the first. Still the same score line here in the bottom of the fourth. The two teams try to battle through the elements to 
get this game in. Pop up down to left field, coming in, making the catch. First out of the inning for St. Thomas Aquinas. Trojans last season, 23 and four record. They won the Greater Middlesex Conference Tournament. Then lost to one of the powerhouses in the state, or I guess I should say other powerhouses in the state, St. Thomas Aquinas. Could be labeled a powerhouse in their own right. The success they've had over the years. They lost to St. John's Vienni, three nothing in the South Jersey non-public A final last year. That one catches the zone to Grodsky. And Grodsky again down, or excuse me, now down, two strikes. And this one shot to second base. They'll go to second to try to get the lead runner. They'll get one, and that's all they'll get as Grodsky hustles down the first base line. So Ali retired. Over at second base, and now Lucy Canuso, first pitch swinging to second. And they'll just toss it over to first in time for the out. Another scoreless inning for Elizabeth Negron on the mound for St. Thomas Aquinas. Through four, Robbinsville leads it. Two to nothing. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's Capital Medical Group. Dot org. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! 1490 WBCB Levitan and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. Fifth inning of action between Robbinsville and St. Thomas Aquinas. Two to nothing lead for the Ravens. As Katie Zilliani tries to keep this shutout intact. Her fifth appearance of the season already, or fourth appearance I should say, for Robbinsville in this their fourth game of the season. Two and, one, two and one record for the Ravens so far. Three and one for their opponents, St. Thomas Aquinas Trojans. Both teams with deep postseason runs on the mind this season after a couple of deep runs last year. Both teams combining for 44 wins last season. Two runs for Robbinsville in the bottom of the first. That's all we have on the board to this point. And you got to play.
applaud these girls for sticking through the elements today. Trying to get a game in. It's a swing and a miss. And an opening strikeout to start things in the top of the fifth for Zilliani. So Collins, the center fielder, steps in. Two for three and three runs scored against South Brunswick on Tuesday. Seven six, or excuse me, ten to six win for the Trojans in that one. Two twelve average last year and thirty three at bats for Collins. All seven of her hit singles last year. Checks your swing. It really didn't make sense to check with the field umpires. He doesn't have the angle down at first base with the do it anyway, and she, he says she didn't go around. And that pitch catches the bottom of the zone. A great spot from Zuliani. Now kind of a check swing goes off the glove of the third baseman and nobody's going to get to it. Nice job by Tomlinson to charge in from center field to keep the runner at first. Tough play for Gallucci to make at third base. And with everybody charging in to try to make the play, he poked off her glove and then rolled to no man's land, so... Base runner for St. Thomas Aquinas with one away in the fifth. Now Cameron Colano steps to the plate. Hitless last year against Robbinsville was Colano. Colano drove in the only run of the game for St. Thomas Aquinas on Monday in that loss against Steiner. That pitch catches the zone as she tees showing bump, but then pulled back all the way and takes the strike anyway. And strike three called as that one catches the outside corner. No argument from Collado. Uh, I think she's more frustrated with herself than the strike three called. And a nice bounce back after allowing that base runner from Zilliani to get the second out of the inning. And now Gwendolyn Negron is at the plate. Negron, a 312 career hitter coming into this game, the junior. Zilliani really working all parts of the plate now. St. Thomas Aquinas is very much still in this game. Two to nothing, and that one's going to go off the glove of the catcher Ali. And now a runner in scoring position for the Trojans as Alyssa Collins takes off for second and is in there safely.
Now on another check swing. Tough play, the shortstop, and now they're going to try to chase her down. The throw home, and Ali applies the tag, and what a play by the shortstop. Haley Krebs, a beautiful heads-up play by number 18 on the Robbinsville Ravens as she makes the play and looks to first. No way she's going to get the hitter, and then poor base running from St. Thomas Aquinas, and she's able to nab the base runner at home for the final out of the inning and to keep the shutout intact. Two to nothing, Robbinsville leads as we head to the bottom of the fifth. This is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youths. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, I'm Merrill Reese. Most people diagnosed with skin cancer. Bottom of the fifth inning. It's Robbinsville. Trying to add to their lead. They scored two in the bottom of the first. Nothing from either team since. As Negron pitches to Haley Krebs. Lead off hitter for Robbinsville. The top of the order is due up for the Ravens in the fifth. Krebs made a great defensive play at shortstop to end things in the top half of the inning. Heads up play. Nabbing a base runner at home plate to keep the Shutout intact for Robbinsville. And not only that, keeping it a two-run game. As Elizabeth Negron's done a nice job on the mound for the Trojans. Bearing down here and tossing to this point three straight scoreless innings after allowing those runs in the first. That pitch catches the zone to Krebs. And Negron really taking the workload over, at least for now, for the Trojans pitching staff is this one to the right side of the infield. Nice backhanded play on to first, but not in time as Krebs is able to leg it out. And lead off base runner for Robbinsville as Caroline Walls steps to the plate. But Negron, the second option for Missy Colazzo in the circle this season with Haley Wizerak, their star ace, getting the bulk of the work to start things. She came out after the fifth inning against Steiner on Monday, did not play yesterday, and is again out of the lineup today and not in the circle. So we wish the best for her. Obviously not going to speculate any sort of injury or anything like that, but Now two consecutive games without arguably their best player and by far their best pitcher, Haley Wizerak. We wish her the best the rest of the way. This one to the right side. That'll move the runner to third base. So nice bit of small ball there from 
the Ravens as Caroline Walls does her job and moves Krebs to third base. One away now for Ariana Tomlinson, center fielder for Robbinsville. And this one back to the mound, Elizabeth Negron to first and taking off on the throw is Krebs and having trouble with it is the catcher and Haley Krebs, the aggressive base running, pays off. As Ariana Tomlinson comes up limping after trying to leg out that bunt, so the out at first base, Krebs comes in to score run number three for Robbinsville. And the base is now clear as there's two away for Laclino Pitter, Sorella Gallucci. 3 nothing. Robbinsville leads it now. And that could be a big insurance run towards the tail end of this game. Again, a heads-up play by Haley Krebs, one of the stars of this Robbinsville softball team. Heads-up play, waiting for Negron to make the throw to first, and then she took off right away, and a good throw. And collection would have had her by the catcher, but I believe it's Kranski back there for Robbinsville. She just had trouble applying the tag, uh, tag and securing the ball in her glove, so that allowed Krebs to slide in safely. And also to add more to it for Krebs, a great slide by her on the right side of the plate. Pitch misses inside to Gallucci. Sorella Gallucci, the senior. She'll head to the University of Delaware in the fall, play for the Blue Hens next spring. And that one getting away from Elizabeth Negron as the runner advances to second base. Regan Robinson at the plate now. Robinson off the end of the bat. That one will get out of play. Robinson again ahead of that one as this one will make its way out of play as well. Robinson, a 364 hitter last season, came into this game with just one hit in three games in 2024. That one misses high. Negron starting to lose the zone now. Robinsville's Added a third run in this inning. They lead it 3 nothing. Looking to do some more damage and extend this lead. That one off the end of the bat to third base. And Colucci will make the play to first in time. And Robbinsville won't add another run, but they do grab run number three on the day. Saley Krabs makes another heads-up base running play. And the Ravens lead it 3 nothing through five against St. Thomas Aquinas. Not even aware of their cancer. It's important to get a complete skin checkup. Kessel Dermatology offers a vast array of surgical procedures, including Mohs surgery plus other non surgical options. Take care of your skin. Schedule an appointment with Kessel Dermatology. Hi, I'm Merrill Reese. Kessel Dermatology offers great cosmetic dermatology 
featuring the latest technology in cosmetics, including Morpheus 8 for skin tightening and scars, ultraviolet A and B light treatment for psoriasis, eczema, and itching. Kessel Dermatology now offers Genesis and XLV laser treatments for wrinkles, facial discoloration, scars, and hair removal. Kessel Dermatology provides Botox and fillers. Take care of your skin. Schedule an appointment with Kessel Dermatology. Three to nothing, Robbinsville lead against St. Thomas Aquinas High School softball action here in the Garden State of New Jersey on WBCB Sports Network. I'm Andrew Myers. Thanks for tuning in on this overcast and obviously just nasty Thursday afternoon and evening. And we're still trudging along here at Rollinsville High School. Game delayed twice, total of an hour today after the original 4 o'clock start time. Now as we approach 6.30, starting the sixth inning of this seventh inning, seven inning affair between Robbinsville and St. Thomas Aquinas. That one driven down the right field line and it'll get out of play. Katie Zeliani, the senior pitcher for Robbinsville, still working on the mound. Against the St. Thomas Aquinas team, who is Elizabeth Negron gives Allen a ride down the left field line, but it'll slice foul. St. Thomas Aquinas they take out their 10 runs against South Brunswick on Tuesday. The Trojans have scored just three runs in four games this season, including today's contest in which they've been, they've been shut out through five so far. The Robbinsville Ravens made a name for themselves defensively last year. They allowed less than two runs per game and had seven shutouts in 27 games last season. Looking for another shutout here against St. Thomas Aquinas. And that pitch slips out of the hand of Zilliani and pretty much rolls over the plate to the backstop. Consistent mist starting to come back in. It's what's been an on again, off again rain here in Mercer County for the better part of three hours now. And that pitch skips in front of the plate for ball four, and Elizabeth Negron is aboard with a leadoff walk. Haley Kransky at the plate now for St. Thomas Aquinas. Trojan still in this game trying to look for some offense. First pitch to Kransky in there for strike. Kransky hitless on Tuesday against South Brunswick, one of the few Trojans hitters who really didn't get anything going. St. Thomas Aquinas scoring 10 runs in that win on Tuesday. That pitch catches the zone, a nice spot from Zilliani. Lead off hitter aboard for the Trojans. That pitch misses low and the count runs full to Haley Kransky. Kransky, one of the better hitters for St. Thomas Aquinas last year in her first year playing high school softball. 
12 hits and 31 at bats. She gives this one a ride to short, grabs to second for one on the first in time, and just what the doctor ordered for Katie Ziliani in the Robbinsville defense. Haley Krebs making a great play once again at short, and she secures the 6 4, or excuse me, 6 3 double play for the Ravens. And just like that, the leadoff base runner for the Trojans is put away. Haley Krebs doing it all for the Robbinsville Ravens today. Now Adriana Torres at the plate, making her varsity debut for the Trojans today. Did not appear in a game last year as a freshman. And that one over the leaping Krebs, and what a play that would have been in a final highlight of the day for Haley Krebs if she was able to make that, but instead it'll be a single for Adriana Torres in her first varsity hit for the St. Thomas Aquinas Trojans. <laughs> Probably pictured it in a little bit of better weather in her head when she ran through it before, but regardless, she's on the board with a hit. So congratulations to Adriana Torres of St. Thomas Aquinas. And now Haley Krebs getting some assistance from Ziliani, getting her right throwing hand dried off from the towel hanging out of Ziliani's back right pocket. Pitch to Sophia Colucci, this is low. One on, two away in the top of the sixth, a three-nothing Robbinsville lead. That one sliced off the hands, poked out of play. Nice block by Ali behind the plate to keep Torres at first. And that run doesn't really mean too much in a three-run game. It's still time for the Trojans to get back into it, but obviously the Ravens and Katie Ziliani, especially in the circle, would like to maintain the shutout. And a swing and a miss, strike three. And it looks like they're will get that final out in the sixth inning. Oh, nice job by Ziliani to get out of that jam. A couple base runners aboard, but St. Thomas Aquinas again shut out in the sixth. To the bottom half of the inning we go, three to nothing, Robbinsville. Hi, Merrill Reese remind you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like Stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365. At 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton. And video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Lena Ali will step in to lead things off for Robbinsville, and she's first pitch swinging, fly ball to right field, and Adriana Torres will make the catch for the out. One pitch, one away for Elizabeth Negron. And the St. Thomas Aquinas Trojans, they trail it three to nothing against Robbinsville, looking to secure their third win of the season and trying to break the series split between these two teams. Third overall meeting between St. Thomas Aquinas and Robbinsville in softball. 
a win for Robbinsville in 2022 in their first ever meeting. And then St. Thomas Aquinas securing a victory last April when these two teams met. And Robbinsville three outs away from grabbing another victory against St. Thomas Aquinas, but before that they're looking to add to their three-run lead in the bottom of the sixth. As the rain really starting to come down now. We've seen both pitchers have some control troubles throughout this game. Got to applaud both of them, though, for working through, and obviously the shutout still intact for Katie Ziliani and Robbinsville. Elizabeth Negron doing a great job after allowing a pair of runs in the first inning to get through three straight scoreless after that before allowing a third run in the fifth. This one a shot to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And Katie Ziliani helping out her calls a bit there with a single in the sixth inning. chat between St. Thomas Aquinas battery stepping up to the plate is Jordan Grotsky and Grotsky pokes that one into left center field and that'll get down for a base hit Two aboard now for Robbinsville. And I'll be honest, folks, not really sure why we're still playing this ball game. As the umpire and crew will get together now and got to believe they're going to think about calling this game here. And that will do it for us as the umpires make that decision. And that will close this game out. A 3 to nothing Robbinsville win over St. Thomas Aquinas as the game's called in the bottom of the sixth due to rain. And it'll go in the book as a win for the Ravens and a loss for the Trojans. Once again, a 3 0 Robbinsville win over St. Thomas Aquinas. A big thank you to all of our sponsors and our entire crew at WBCB Sports Network. I'm Andrew Myers. Take care.